Bob Lamb, welcome back to my memories of the Lacrosse County Amateur Golf Championships. For some reason, folks, I'm struggling to stay out of the hospital this summer. It's either Lacrosse or up to Rochester or back to Lacrosse. I don't know, but thanks to the good Lord above, I'm here to share another year of my memories. This week we're going to focus on the 2022 County Amateurs. Let's begin with the Women's County Amateur held at the golf club at Cedar Creek in Onalaska. Here's what I wrote. Former Toma High School star Mar Molly Larson dethroned Annie Balduzzi in the 2022 Lacrosse County Women's Amateur Golf Championship as presented by Pepsi Cola of Lacrosse. Balduzzi was attempting to win her fourth straight Women's County Amateur title, but struggled much of the day. Meanwhile, Larson, a senior on the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse Women's Golf Team, shot identical 41s for an 82 in a one-stroke victory over Annie's, Balduzzi's younger sister, Allison, and Julie Schrader. Meanwhile, veteran Kathy Baus captured the, captured the women's flighted low neck crown with 72. I caught up with Molly minutes after her victory, her first victory, and <laughs> She is so bubbly, just like her father, Josh. Molly Larson. Molly just won the Women's County Amateur here at Cedar Creek today. And Molly, first crack, and you won it. Correct, yeah, it was a beautiful course today, beautiful conditions. Greens were rolling beautiful today. Now, Molly, you're from Toma originally, right? Correct, yeah, my parents just moved to Alaska two years ago now. Uh huh. And how old are you? I'm 22 years old. I just turned 22 in May. And you're going to UWL? Correct. This will be my final season at UWL and I'm studying therapeutic recreation. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I'm super excited. It'll be my last season in the fall with UWL. What was the key today? I think just being able to grind it out, taking advantage of my um, irons. I strike my irons really well, so being able to take advantage of that when I was in the fairway. Um, I didn't get off the tee too well today, and the greens were rolling really hard today, so uh, being able to take advantage of my wedge and my iron shots today was, was the key to being able to pull this off. And how about the, your playing partners? One was Annie Balduzzi, who won the last three. <laughs> Yeah, it was a pleasure playing with Annie again. Annie and I played together in high school, and we haven't played together since we graduated. Oh, yeah. So it was really nice to be able to play with her again out there. And I met Julie for the first time today, and she was a pleasure to ride along in the cart with. Uh, everybody kept it real light and fun, so that was uh, that was part of my success right there, is not getting too down on myself when I had a bad shot. Now, Allison Balduzzi, Annie's sister, is joining you at UWL this year, isn't she? She is, and I'm super excited to have uh, Allison with us uh, this year coming in. Um, I think she'll be a great addition to the team, so hopefully we'll be able to win a conference championship with her this fall. You get that same feeling? Molly is really bubbly, isn't she? Now let's turn to the Quick Trip Seniors County Amateur. That was held at Forest Hills Golf Course. And let's go down through the scores there. In the Super Seniors, Robert Shane won with a low net score of 76 after a low gross 90. Second flight winner was Mike Hugel with an 86. First flight went to Bob Roars with an 84. Now let's go to championship flight. That was Mike Drugan shot 35-33 68. Paul Williamson, 33-38-71, while Tom McClintock shot a pair of 36s for 72. I found Mike moments after his victory in the seniors at Forest Hills. Mike 
That was his second seniors victory. Mike Drogan, your 2010 seniors county amateur champion. And now he just won the 2022 Quick Trip Seniors County Am Championship here at Forest Hills Golf Course in La Crosse. Mike, how does it feel? The first one the better or the second? Well, it's been 12 years, you know, <laughs> so uh, this feels good today. I'm going to enjoy it today, but I think the first one's probably always the best. That, yeah, a yeah. lot of people say yeah. that. Yeah. Well, now you got to keep going for them. You'll be back again, I know, for many, many years. Yes, I will. Yep. Walk us through your round, will you? Well, I've been swinging real good recently, but uh, putting uh, erratic. And last night, uh, I had my son Keegan. He came out and, and gave me a little little pointer about ball placement and where I had my hands and I felt a little uncomfortable with it today, but it sure I sure putted a lot better today. No three no three putts, uh -huh. so that was nice. I didn't do anything flashy today. It was just pretty much down the middle, hit the green in the middle of the green, and I happened to make a couple putts, so things yeah. went well. And you've also won a men's championship, and that comes up next week. That comes up next week. I, I hear we have a really good field. Another strong championship flight. Yep. Some former champions. I heard uh, Ryan Quinn's going to be back. Um, Ross Wilhelm from Oklahoma. Yep. yep. So uh, should Mason be Milner, Milner from Twin Cities. And of yep. course Willie and the rest of the boys around here too. So don't it'll discount be very fun. yourself. <laughs> well, I'm going to try. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Mike is a great friend and a great ambassador for the game of golf not only in the Cooley region area, but throughout the state. Okay, now we have one tournament left. That's the big 36-hole tournament held a week later at two courses, the golf course at Cedar Creek and on Alaska and Drugan's Castle Mound Country Club in Holman. This is how Sunday's Final round came out. It was held at Drugan's Castle Mound again. Par was 35, 35, 70 for the men's championship flight. Winning his first of two straight tournaments was Tyler Church with 66, 68, 134. Finishing runner-up was Joe Weber with 140, while Jordan Graff and Sean Borey tied for third with 144. Moving to men's first flight, that was changed from par 35, 36, 71. They got one extra stroke because on... Uh, championship flight, they played a par 5 to a par 4. So men's first flight winner was John Strungsteline with 74, 82, 156. Now, for, or second, third, fourth flighters were at the golf club at Cedar Creek. That also played to one to 36, 35, 71. Second flight winner was Robert Tim with 80, 75, 155. Third flight winner, Damian Bork, 81, 84, 165. Men's fourth flight winner, Marv Davis, 75, 87, 162. And I do say 2022 was a special, very special memory for me. After 32 years of working for this great tournament, I retired from my directorship. And I didn't attend the 2022. 23 tournament. I returned to the 2024 tournament, but the 2022 tournament at the awards tournament or the awards banquet 
I got very emotional. My dad always says, Bobby wears his emotions on his sleeve, and I do. But it was a great year, and I still have many more memories of the previous tournaments. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you again. Thank you.